All right, here I'm, I'm gonna sh show a few of my favorite guitars. Um, this is uh, my 1988 Gibson Showcase Edition. You can see the back of the headstock there. Uh, they made 200 of these for the Sam Ash chain in 1988. It's Custom Shop SG. It came with three EMGs. They were 60s that came in there. But uh, I took the 60 out of here and out of here and put in an 81 and an 85. And uh, this is still a 60 that came in it, but I don't have to even have that one wired. So I just use these. But I love this guitar. I use this all across uh, the US and Europe and Australia, New Zealand, a bunch of places for a lot of years, 20 some years ago or something. It's a great guitar, pretty rare, I like it. 1996 Gibson V. I put in um, a, a headset, EMG headset. Replaced the original pickups with those. Uh, it's the it's the cherry, but not the faded cherry. It's the glossy cherry finish. I love this one. It plays really good, sounds really good, and those pickups are great. That's why I put them in a bunch of other guitars that I'm about to show. Got another V here. This is a. Uh, this is a 05, 2005. This was a faded cherry. It was given to me by a friend in uh, Youngstown named Jacob. I had, it was kind of in bad shape. It had a busted headstock and a busted uh, pit guard right around the jack. It was all jacked up. But uh, I replaced a few things, put a headset in it, EMG headset again. Um, and I had it painted by this guy, Norm Isaac, here in Cleveland, who's really, really, really good. And he gave it this nice cardinal red finish. And this thing turned out really, really cool. This is a 1990 Gibson V that I love. Um, it's kind of got that Kirk Hammett vibe to it, you know? Uh, also has a headset, because those just sound kick-ass. Especially for these V's, they really liven these V's up, I think. Yeah, that's a good one. There's another 96. This one has the EMG 5766 combo in it. It's a really good sounding pickups as well. Really good set of pickups. Uh, I've beat this one up quite a bit over the years, but but it's a, it's a, these V's are great, especially these 90s ones I really like. Here's an 89 Explorer. I got this one really cheap a long time ago, 600 bucks with a hard shell case. Great deal on this one. They go for a lot more than that now. I put the Hetfield Bridge in it. It's got a DiMarzio uh, deactivator in the neck. I, I just didn't replace both because I rarely use the neck pickup. But yeah, this is a nice Explorer. I have this tuned to B, to B standard and use it for shed the skin. Same with the SG. I have that one to the death metal tuning as well. The 1997 Ace Freely Gibson. This thing is amazing. Really, really sounds good. Came stocked with the three DiMarzio Super Distortions. It really has that 70s rock sound when you plug it in. Sounds like an old Kiss record or Aerosmith record or something. It's a beautiful guitar. Plays really good, sounds really good, feels really good. 1980 Greco Ace Freely model. I'm sure not authorized by Ace himself, but a nice Gibson clone, Gibson copy. Uh, these aren't DiMarzio's, they're made to look like them though. Some kind of Japanese, probably Greco pickups I'd imagine. I'm gonna take this one out and put an EMG Super 77 in it because those sound really good and I'm not real pleased with the sound of this bridge pickup. But this is a nice Les Paul copy, really good quality. This is a 1997 Cherry Sunburst Gibson Les Paul Standard. That sounds really good and plays really good. Another 1996 Gibson V. I put the head bridge in there. Sounds excellent. I just left the uh, neck alone. It's the Gibson pickup that came in it. This one's really cool. Feels real good. This is a 04, I believe. 04 1960 reissue. I took the pick guard off. It said 1960 right on the pick guard. It looked cool, but I like to look better without it. I put an EMG Super 77 in there. 
that's what I'm gonna put in that Greco as well because it sounds great in here. I love it. And uh, these are limited edition. It says so on the back of the headstock, you can see. These are really nice. If you could get a chance to get one of these 1960 reissues, I highly recommend it because the neck is nice and thin. The 60s have a better neck, I think, than the big baseball bat 50s necks. And that's, uh, this is the one I use to record mostly with uh, rhythms. I record all my rhythms with, with this guitar pretty much. So uh, that's, those are my favorites. Those are my favorite Gibsons, my favorite guitars in my collection. That's it. <laughs> Let's go!